She was a stunning supermodel who rose to fame for her signature red locks. But after years in the limelight, Angie Everhart had to come to grips with a frightening diagnosis. Let's have a look. Angie Everhart rose to stardom as one of the biggest supermodels in the world. My hair was my career. I was the Pantene girl, the finesse girl. I became the first redhead ever to be on the cover of American Glamour. With a great career, a beautiful family, and good health, Angie had it all. But in 2013, she almost lost everything. I was working out, and was, something was going on in my shoulder. So I went in and had an MRI in my shoulder. There's nothing there, but ma'am, you have a black spot in your throat. When somebody tells you that you have cancer, it is your worst day of your life. Being Caden's mom is my favorite job ever. Oh, it's gonna make me cry. Damn it. It's the best job. You know, because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to see him grow up. Please give a warm welcome to Angie Everhart. Maybe so, cry before I come out. <laughs> well, you you know, you you struck a nerve with me when you said in that interview, the best job in the world is being a mom. The best job in the world. Absolutely. So how is your health? My health is great. I'm cancer free. I can honestly say I have no more cancer. And after everything you've been through, what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned from all this? I have a, like a newfound lust for life because, you know, I really did think I was going to die. And I had myself a little pity party. Uh, one, I allowed myself one. That's a, you're allowed That's that. That's reasonable. <laughs> uh, I did. I had a pity party. And then the next day I woke up and I was like, forget this. I am not dying from this cancer. And I was like, this is I think it highlights something that's really important going through what you went through and getting to the other side of it. I know you've dealt with a lot of issues having your thyroid removed. I want to talk about that in a minute, but also bring into the conversation author and board certified endocrinologist Dr. Joseph Pinzone. Because when someone has their thyroid removed, it can cause a lot of struggles. Talk to us about why that happens. Sure. Well, when a person has their thyroid removed, and most patients with thyroid cancer do need their entire thyroid removed, it's really important to immediately get onto thyroid hormone replacement. And for the majority of people, they actually feel back to normal. What we are increasingly realizing though is, for many, they don't, and they never really do. And it's because of the nuances of how the thyroid system works in our body. So it's really important to have that discussion with patients up front. In addition, when the thyroid is taken out, because the vocal cord nerves run right behind it, you can have voice issues that can mm -hmm. be permanent, and there are other glands called the parathyroids, and so you can have low calcium that can be permanent. Of course, when you have a cancer, the benefit, of course, is to take it out, and in Angie's case, to, fingers crossed, cure it. The so. one thing that I will, will say is, you know, I, I'm proud of you for sharing your story because I think you'll help a lot of people out there who've defeated cancer but still dealing with a lot of issues. Um, we're just so happy that you're cancer free. Thank and you. Send our best to your lovely family. Oh, can I give this because just one, uh, yes, one absolutely. quick thing. I wanted to give you some lip gloss because I give to a cancer foundation. Every purchase of our, our lip gloss we give to cancer charity. So <laughs> cancer research. And we'll have so more info you, so you about have. that. <laughs> On our website, thedoctorstv.com. Angie, thank you so much. Dr. Pinzone, thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.